Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, I already know I've been MIA, uh, but it's been for a good reason. As you can see, I have three P. Louise boxes right here. They just kept coming in the mail and honestly, it got so bad. Like I have so many boxes stacked up in a bigger box. It's to the point where I got so much anxiety. I was like, you know what? Let me just cancel all these subscriptions. I need no more boxes coming to my house because it is just ridiculous at this point. So. I did cancel all of my subscriptions, but we are gonna go through the things that I've already received. And then hopefully later on, once I kind of get <laughs> a handle on the boxes that I already have, then I'll probably think about re-signing up for different subscription boxes. <laughs> baby girl. I'm gonna save this big old briefcase looking thing for last, because it's huge and I think I'm gonna need the space. Let's go ahead and start with this one. I'm not entirely sure which month this is for. Of no clue. They just started to blend together. I know for a fact this is the oldest one though, because I remember when this came in, I was excited to open it, but then life was life in, like I told y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this box. <laughs> Dang. That was some UK strong, what is this, cardboard? First of all, the box is always super freaking cute. Like aesthetic wise, P. Louise is, is killing the game. Absolutely stunning. I usually keep these boxes. You know, the hoarder in me just cannot let something this pretty go. When I get my studio, I will definitely be using this to adorn different areas of my studio because it's just cute. Okay, it's girly and it's cute and I like her. You're not gonna make me feel shame for the things I like. Okay, if I'm a whore, I'm a whore. If there is a lip oil in any of these boxes, I'm throwing the box. I'm done. I am just now getting to the bottom of the first one I opened. Up. This is what I have on right now. And I have several others that I need to get through. And I have several that are already in the giveaway and I've already given away two. So if there's another lip oil in this box, so help me God, I'm gonna lose my ish. Cause I'm sick and tired of them dumping their lip oils that probably don't sell. And that's why they're getting rid of them in the budget box. Realistically, these budget boxes are for makeup artists. What makeup artists do you know going around using lip oil? A, a lipstick, I can understand. Cause you got different shades and different finishes and things like that. A lip oil that you can't even tell the difference once you put them on. I don't need no more damn lip oils. Okay, and I'm pretty sure you don't need no more either. Ooh, I got a little keychain. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, that is cute. What is this? Protect your pout, introducing our P. Louise Protect Your Lip, no, that's not what it says. Protect Your Pout Lip Conditioner. You mean lip chap, lip gloss? <laughs> Why do we have to go through these different lip conditioner? Just say it's a lip gloss. <laughs> it comes with a cute little like keychain thing. I think that's actually really cute. Um, that way I'm not digging through my purse trying to find it. It's literally right there. I like that. I think something like this would be really cute for, you know, the girl, the girls going back to school, college or, you know, high school, whatever. Going back to school and you have this on your purse or your book bag. I think that's really cute. Blueberry? That's not a blueberry. What is that? Definitely not a blueberry. Because blueberries are individual. I'll, I'll let me show you. That's not a blueberry. Is that grapes? Is that grapes? Are those grapes? Uh, my English. Blue raspberry. That's what that is. Is that even a real thing? I thought blue raspberry was fake. I thought raspberry was the real thing. And then like blue raspberry was just like an icy flavor, like something made up in a lab somewhere. Are there really blue raspberries? If so, why have I not seen them in the store? Ooh, that actually smells really good. But let's see, this is what it looks like when it comes on out. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit on, let's see. Okay, okay, that's nice. It smells really nice. It smells exactly like the blue raspberry I see or blue raspberry whatever. It, this is cute and I like this flavor. I will put it off to the side and I will use it in the future. Okay, I'm already working through that lip oil. I'm gonna be using that lip oil until it's gone. And then I also have that little chocolate clicky pen that I got last time. I've been using that as well. Let's see what else we got in this box. Okay, This is what the, the box is looking like, by the way. Oh, we got another drive me ball me. Contents may be addictive. Get gooey. I hate that word, gooey. Ugh. Is this marshmallow flavored? Don't know if I like marshmallow flavors. I don't like marshmallow. I will show you guys what it looks like on the inside, but I'm not going to like open it, open it. I might be just putting this in the giveaway because no three. Maybe I'll break it up into two different things. That way like two different people can enjoy the marshmallow flavorings of P. Louise. So it comes with the cute little clicky pen and then it comes with the 
Is it a lip conditioner? Is this the same thing? Oh, lip balm. Okay, so they have their lip oils, their lip conditioners, their lip balms, all these different names for basically the same thing. So it's these two things. I have enough lip balm product type situations. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna just put these two in the giveaway um, separately. That way two people can enjoy this flavor, I guess. But okay, three lip products, none of which you're gonna put any color on your lips. I find that a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I find that very annoying. It's just getting the same thing over and over again. And if this is meant for makeup artists, then where's the artistry? <laughs> okay, where is the actual artistry? Now, maybe I'm completely out of pocket and wrong and a real makeup artist will come under here and be like, no, we use those girls. Hey, if that's so, I will resend, <laughs> I will resend what I said. But I don't really know too many folks out here <laughs> doing freaking lip oils on their clients. Let's be serious. The next thing in here is the babe, we're bringing the smoke. Can you handle the heat? And this is an eye and face palette. It. This is what it's looking like. Very, very pretty. I've been wanting so badly to keep these boxes intact, but they're so difficult to get open without ripping them. So this is what she looks like. Very thick, okay, kind of massive. The outside packaging looks just like the inside packaging. So that means I'm probably gonna just toss this little box. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting this. <laughs> when you say get, bring the smoke, I'm thinking I'm gonna get like blacks and shades of gray. But if we look at here, first of all, I get a little mirror up here. We got some really pretty browns and like metallic -y browns. And I guess you could do a really cute smoky eye with like a brown tone to it rather than like a traditional smoky eye, which would be with, with the blacks, the gray, <laughs> I was gonna say it's the Different. The blacks and the grays, that type of color scheme. But yeah, these actually look really pretty. Now the shimmer, the shimmer is shimmery and they feel really buttery too. Like they feel really nice. I don't know about these mattes though. The matte colors are a little bit uh, underwhelming, but maybe they'll perform better on the actual eye. Let me go wash my little dirty, dirty, dirty fingers. And then I'm gonna grab this last shade and then I'm gonna show you what it's working with. I'll be right back. Uh, as you can see, Patch City in these first two. Okay, they are Patch E. Those shimmers are really beautiful, especially this one. That is absolutely stunning. This one you could barely see because it blends in with my skin tone. And then this one's performing pretty decently from what I can see. I have to try this out on my face to see how I truly, truly feel about it. We might have almost a full face of PLEs outside of like a... a Foundation, I don't have P. Louise foundation. I might invest in getting some P. Louise foundation so I could do a full face of P. Louise for y'all. See this black girl friendly. I mean, their Instagram is nothing but sisters. So I'm a little hopeful in that regard. The next thing I'm seeing in here is the, the cheek of it. <laughs> These names are just so funny. A flirty flush of color and it is a liquid blush. And this is what she looks like. And we got marmalade melts. Hopefully this is a pretty color for like my skin tone. And this is what it looks like. That, <laughs> that looks Halloween. Okay, that looks neon Halloween. I don't know how I feel about this. I also have never used anything with a little tip like that. I think you have to take the thing off before it'll, wait, what did I just do? Let's see if it'll just start show. Ooh, it's just like farted. There's not nearly as much product in here as you think there is. The container probably could have been this small, but you know, they want you to feel like you've gotten something substantial. Okay, the color is starting to peek through there. All right, there she goes. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, okay. I don't know how this is gonna look as a blush. Um, let's just, maybe it'll sheer out to something really pretty. All right, so actually, okay, I take I take it back. That's pretty. That was a little scary at first, but I think that's actually really pretty. It goes with like that peachy, that peachy kind of corally look that I love to go for. I think that's actually kind of cute. So we will definitely try this out on the face and see how we like her. Very nice. Wasn't expecting to like that. I uh, was a little terrified, honestly. I was a little bit like, girl, you really about to have me looking like I'm going to some kind of festival where there's LSD and mushrooms. That's what you about to have me looking like I'm going to. And I ain't going nowhere like that. I will be leaving my house like that. Maybe for a Halloween look, but any other time of the year? No. This is actually really pretty and wearable. Ooh, this is so 
cute. Cheek treats, makeup sponges, okay? So we got some makeup sponges. I think this is so cute. Looks like a little telegram. Oh, okay, so instead of it being like glue, it has the little Velcro. It has a little Velcro. I think that is super freaking cute, uh, meaning this will be hoarded. There's a bunch of makeup sponges in here. Let me see. They all have like the little thing on the back, which is really cute. Another one that's a little bit smaller. This one, which I think will be more so for like foundation, just based on the texture. And then we have these little itty bitty ones, which I think are so freaking cute. I probably wouldn't be using it the right regular heart way. I would be using it upside down because that makes more sense to get into the little, you know, nicks and crannies of your face. And then there's another one that's slightly bigger than this that fell on the floor. Yeah, these are cute. I don't see myself using them though. I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you. So I'm probably gonna keep this itty bitty one and then I'm probably gonna keep this foundation one and then I'll probably keep the one that fell on the floor. These three will be going into the giveaway and this box will be going somewhere where it will be hoarded, okay? It will be hoarded for safekeeping. Ooh, this is cute too. This is so cute. It says love letters I never sent but wish I did. And it has like the little sticky stick, the little, you know, postcard thingy. And it says official love letter. If lost, return to sender. That is so freaking cute. What is this? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but absolutely adorable. P. Louise, they get packaging, okay? They need to do a master class on packaging because the other companies don't get it. This is what it looks like. I don't know what's in here though. Let me see. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. Oh my God. Are these more palettes? <laughs> Okay, this was a good box. You got so many things in this box. That is absolutely insane. First two makeup brushes. First of all, the pink is super cute. It's like slightly slanted. It doesn't really tell you what this is for. I don't know what this is for. Maybe contour or something. Or maybe this is for contour. I don't know. We'll find a use for these brushes, but they're super freaking cute, okay? The, not the most high quality material, but I mean, it doesn't look to be shedding. It's pretty even for the most part. These are cute. Let me put these right up here where the brushes go. Let's see, it says three strikes, you're out. Cream bronzer palettes. Hopefully it's my color. If I can get the box open, okay. This this box is gonna have to fight the dust. It's gonna fight. It's gonna have to bite the dust, cause bruh. Ooh, okay. Again, A plus for packaging. Look at that. That is so freaking cute. Has the metal on the side. Very, very pretty. Okay, we can do stuff with this. This is way too deep. <laughs> way too deep. And this is a little bit orange. And if this was a little bit lighter, I could use it as a foundation. Let me do some swatches. Ooh, it's really buttery. Very, very buttery. So that is what they look like. I might have to mix. Like if I mix these two together, I might get a bronzer color that works if I mix those two colors together, I might get a bronzer color that works for me. These colors don't quite look like they'll do what needs to be done in regard to a cream bronzer. Oh, okay, so bronzer and then blush. So we got the blush. Third time lucky, turning my struggles into strengths. This is what she looks like. So again, packaging, absolutely adorable. Love to see her. Hopefully these are colors that I will wear. Oh. Okay. All right, so we're looking at more pinky, slightly peachy, but more pinky kind of colors. I mean, I can try them. I can definitely try these out. Now, these are not typically colors that I like. I like things with a more peachy, orange kind of tinge to them. But I mean, these are cute. The darker one, I probably would like the most. I probably like them going from like the darkest to the lightest. Um, the lightest is okay. It's just, it's okay. It barely shows up on my skin tone. I think this was a good box. Let's move on, okay? Cause we got two more to go through. Wait, I need to clean this off. I don't want to get pink everywhere. We're going to go into this box. Have no idea when this is from, so. Let's find out. <laughs> this is what she looks like on the inside. This first thing is the cheek, the cheek of it. I guess it's the whole line, the cheek of it. And it's the liquid highlighter. Oh, okay. And this is what she looks like. Very cute. Love the packaging. And this is in the color spending spree. I wish I could go on a spending spree right now. Baby girl need to go shopping. This is what she looks like. I don't have any highlighters that look... I don't have any highlighters that look like this. It's giving, what's that woman? Charlotte Tilbury? It's giving Charlotte Tilbury. I guess you just squeeze. Oh, okay. 
There's an on and off thing. If you twist it, then it's on. If you twist it the other way, it's off. So I like that, that way you're not wasting products. Let's see. Okay, a little bit has come out. This is what it looks like, very pinky, kind of champagne-y a little bit. I think that's actually really pretty. Very iridescent. I like that. Okay, P. Hey, Louise, I see you, sis. Ooh, I wonder if the other one has an on and off. Let me look. No, this one does not have a on and off, and it most certainly will continue to leak product. I don't think I have a highlighter that looks quite like this. And honestly, it looks really pretty. I might put that on the eyes. Oh, oh, we get two. So this is another liquid highlighter, and this is in the shade Chill Biz Baby. Are these very similar? No, they're different. These are very different. You can tell like the, I guess, color strip or whatever tells you what this is. So I am gonna open this. If they were very similar, I wasn't gonna open it and I was gonna put it in the giveaway, but they're different, so I'm keeping it. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. That is gorgeous. You see that shift? It's like pinky, but also kind of gold. I like this one more than this one, but they're both absolutely stunning. Hell yes. Wait, turn it off. Okay, turn it off so it's not leaking everywhere. Hell yeah. These two liquid highlighters are absolutely stunning. So glad that they included them in the box. Learning Lines Liner Brushes. And this is what the box is looking like. Oh, it's magnetic. The things that excite me are just astonishing. It's magnetic. I think that is so freaking cute. Oh, is it like a microphone? Oh, it's like a cute little microphone. Yeah, and you just get like three little brushes. I think they're all supposed to do different things, I hope. All right, so they're definitely supposed to do different things. This one looks like it's more of like a lining brush. And then these are like fine detail brushes. I think these are cool. Will I use them? I don't particularly know. I will keep them just in, ooh, and they're soft. They're very soft, but firm. Oh, is this not a brush? Ooh, this one's not even a brush. It almost feels like a little silicone thingy, Mabobber. Like I said, I don't typically use things like this. I will keep them in my arsenal just in case. So I'm gonna put these right up here. I think the little microphone thing is so freaking cute. So I will be keeping this box. Don't judge me. Porters unite, do not judge me. The next thing is something. <laughs> Clearly it's something. It's, I think it's supposed to look like this, uh, but this is kind of opened up already. And this is the Hey Hot Tea. Oh, <laughs> I'm slow. Okay, this is Hey Hottie, but Hey Hot Tea. Okay, that's cute. And this is the Black Current Burst. What is this? This is what the other side of this looks like. Oh, it's like a little tea bag. Okay, cute. So what exactly is this? Oh, okay, it's a lip scrub. I have not been exfoliating my lips, so I know the crusty dusties have come in full effect. Okay, I feel it every time I put a lip product on and I go like, I feel all the crusties and dusties rubbing together. That's actually really pretty. Look at that. I think that's actually really pretty. Oh, that smells delicious. Look at that. That smells absolutely delicious. Now this looks more like a sample size. Well, actually no, lip scrubs are usually not that big. That smells good. That smells really good. I could sit here like this all day. I wish I had gotten like one of those little lip pout things in this flavor, because this smells amazing. We will definitely give this a try out. I will definitely bust that bad boy out. Next, we have a water activated palette. And this box is so freaking cute. I think that is so pretty. It's like a little record player, play player, a little record player. I don't think I will be keeping this. This is what it looks like. Very, very cool, very pretty. I'm gonna open it, but but we're not gonna actually touch any of the colors because it's just, it, it makes no sense for me to do so. But this is what she looks like. Essentially, this is a eyeliner palette and you got all these different shades of brown and then some darker shades that a little bit closer to black. A very neutral type of eyeliner palette. And it has a nice huge mirror. I will not be keeping this. <laughs> and I feel like if I try to keep this, it's gonna go to waste. I am gonna see if my mother-in-law or my sister-in-law know any any makeup artists locally that would use something like this. Cause something like this makes sense for a makeup artist. It does not, something like this does not make sense for a regular, for a regular person. Okay, this makes, this makes, this makes sense for a makeup artist, which I am not. Don't try to look cute. Don't try to look cute after you done interrupt my video like five billion times. Don't try to look cute. She over here going like this. 
I'm like, girl, I'm still tripping on these highlights. These highlights are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this one. For the last one, which is this gigantic suitcase, briefcase looking thing. I do want to keep it intact because it's so freaking big and massive and cute. It has like a little briefcase looking thing that's on the inside here. And then everything has its like perfect spot. Luckily, we have not seen any lip oils. We saw lip conditioner and what was the other thing called? A lip balm, uh, but no lip oils, which I am absolutely happy about because I didn't have to throw anything. Let's start with this can looking thing. I think this is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> and this says bad bees only. This is lemon sorbet. Let's get into this packaging. This is so freaking cute. Now, how do I open this without ripping it off? Okay, it opens It opens from the bottom. P. Louise Stay Shining Plumping Formula. So is this like a plumping lip oil? So this is what this looks like. Uh, it is in the color Sharp Bite, which I'm guessing is lemon flavored. I will not be using this because I have so many and I'm just, I just, I know I'm not. I have too many of these little lip oil things. I'm going to throw this into the giveaway whenever that happens. And then the next thing is a Protect Your Pout Lemon Sherbet Lip Conditioner. So another one of those little lip conditioners. Ooh, okay, this has a little keychain as well, which I think is so freaking cute. And this is what she looks like. I will keep this. So the lemon smell on this is very subtle. Like I smell it, but not really. Yeah, that, that smells really delicious. It almost smells like a lemon cake. You ever had like lemon cake before? It smells like one of those. So, I mean, this is really nice. The next thing is a setting spray. It's called Babe, It's Time to Fix Up, But Fix Your Vision. Wait, what? Okay, I, okay, I, I messed up. Some things can break your heart. Babe, it's time to fix up, but fix your vision. Uh, maybe you get it. I don't. This is a setting spray. Very pretty. I think it has like the little metallics in it. That's what it looks like. It looks like it's got like some shimmer in it. I already have a setting spray from a previous budget box, so I'm gonna put this in the giveaway as well. This one says, Get a grip. I never slip up when I'm stuck on you. And this is a gripping primer. Now, I believe gripping primers are like the gel type of primers, I think. I prefer gel primers, so I might keep this. You know, I do have a P. Louise primer already, but it's not its not gel. It's like that creamy stuff. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this because I like, I like gel primers. Like, that's my jam. Safety seal, you know, your girl loves a good safety seal. Oh. That just like glooped out. Is that even a word, glooped? Or is it just gooped? It's one of those gel ones. I love a gel primer. It smells like glue. Maybe that's the point. I don't know. I guess it's gonna dry down sticky. I prefer primers like this. The next thing is the Tear Proof Mascara. I don't own any P. Louise mascara, so this is really nice. Again, we're getting closer and closer to a full face of P. Louise, which is pretty freaking awesome. Okay, packaging, 1000% love it. I think that is so freaking cute. Okay, absolutely cute. And it says this is tear proof. So it's not going to make you cry. Or if you cry, it won't won't drain down your face. I, I don't know what they mean by tear proof. Ooh, okay. Very pretty. I like the gold detail. I think this this container, like this feels a decent material, you know? It feels like it's a decent quality material. I hope it's not dried out because this has been sitting here for a while. This is what the wand is looking like. I'm not a wand snob. If it works, it works. Next, there's two more things in here. You'll give me the ick, trigger warning. I'm moving on up to lipstick that can last. My tastes have changed. This babe has got class. Oh, okay. This is what the box is looking like. Very cute. This is a lipstick palette. I don't particularly reach for lipstick palettes, but let's see what kind of colors are in here. If, if it's some pretty colors, then I'll keep it. If not, I'll probably give this to the same person that gets the liquid eyeliner palette thing because it makes more sense for them. So this is what it's looking like. These are what the colors look like. I mean, they are pretty. I just don't know because I never wear lipstick that's like this. I always use like a bullet lipstick, you know what I mean? Or like a liquid lipstick. I never reach for a palette lipstick. But then again, this might be nice for like a vacation. Then you have like several different lip looks you can use. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it just to say that I have one. And then if I get another one, I could be like, look, this isn't my jam. Or maybe if I find that I actually really like things like this, then I'll just keep keeping them, I guess, and not giving them away. So I will, I will keep this and try it. We'll try it.
All right, and the last thing that's in here is the all over the place Handle with Care face palette. So it's a full blown face palette. Okay, this box is just gonna have to, it's just gonna have to get ripped. I can't keep doing this. The outside looks just as pretty as the inside or the inside looks just as pretty as the outside. It looks like we have some blushes, some highlights and some bronzers powder and cream. This is what the palette is looking like. Absolutely cute and beautiful. I think some of these colors will look really nice on me. So I will be keeping this, okay? I will be keeping this. And we basically have like almost a full face. The only thing I'm really missing, I think is like an eyeliner, lip liner, and foundation and eyebrows. I think that's it. I think that's all I'm missing. So I might have to place a little order to just get those things so we can do a full face. Cause I don't know when I'm gonna be resubscribing and if and when or what they're gonna put in these boxes. I don't know. That was everything in my three months of P. Louise that I did not open and just was collecting in a box with a bunch of other boxes. <laughs> We're gonna get through all these boxes. I got my Allure boxes, I got Macy's, all those Dang Blasted Ipsy, Boxy, I just, it's too much. It always feels so weird recording after you haven't been recording for a very long time. Like, I don't even know if I'm looking in the right direction most of this video. So if this video is a bit ratchet, it's cause I, I've been off the horse way too long. It'll get back to the, the quality that it was before. Or we'll see. That's all. That's it. I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.